guys. So anyway, this look was inspired by Aurora makeup and this is the picture that I recreated. So yeah, I saw it and I said, oh, I just have, I have the perfect color for this and I just have to reuse it. So yeah, I did. Anyway, if this is something you guys are interested in watching, please keep watching. That sounds weird. If you're interested in watching, keep watching. Keep watching. Stay tuned. So I've already <clears throat> done my eyebrows and primed my eyes using Urban Decay's Original Primer Potion. So next I'm just going to take Siren Cosmetics Vermilion Pigment and blend that out into my crease as my transition color. that's in my crease I'm just going to take ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Shadow in Ibiza and I'm going to put that on my lid as a base. I'm just using my finger to apply it so okay now for the star of the show I'm taking Fierce Kitty Cosmetics pigment in Cat Got Your Tongue. And I'm going to apply that on top of Ibiza. I'm doing it on a damp brush. It's just damp. want to kind of pat the pigment on top so you can get really good color payoff and then I'm just going back in with vermilion to kind of blend that out and then I am taking Bay by Colourpop Cosmetics and using that to darken the crease with the concentration being focused on the outer portion of the crease. And you just want to keep going back in to this outer portion and build up the color. And then I'm taking Rex from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm darkening the outer crease. blended the crease out a bit too much so I'm just going to be taking a clean blending brush and I'm going to be going starting from the top of my brow and kind of going down to blend some of this away And then you're just going to use the same brush that you applied Bay with and you're just going to, not adding any extra product, blend out that Rex a little bit. And then I'm just taking a matte white shadow, it doesn't really matter what eyeshadow you use, I'm just using a white matte white shadow. And I'm taking it on 
a blending brush and I'm putting it under my eyebrow. And then you're just gonna take that same brush that you used to apply Bay with, and you're gonna kinda blend that out a little bit. Yeah. And then taking a clean blending brush, you're just gonna kinda go back over them both. And then taking the brush that you used to apply Rex with, you're going to take Bay and you're going to apply the color under your lower lash line. And then I'm just going to be taking Inglot's gel liner in the color 76, which is just the white gel liner. I'm going to be taking that color on a liner brush and I'm just going to be applying it in my waterline. So then you're just going to apply um, mascara and then eyelashes. Okay, and now you're just going to apply eyelashes. The eyelashes I'm going to be applying are both from House of Lashes. And they are the House of Lashes Iconic and Pixie Lux. So this is basically, I think this is the finished eye look. So we're just going to kind of, using the same brush that we used to apply Cat Got Your Tongue, we're just going to add a little bit down here without adding any extra to the brush. So this is it for the finished eye look. Um, I'm going to come back, do my face, and take my hair down, and I'll show you what the completed look looks like. Hi, so this is the finished look. Um, yeah, I actually don't really know how I feel about this lip color, but I don't feel like changing it. Too lazy. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions comments or if there's anything you want to see just leave them down below and I will get back to you love you guys okay bye